Hello guys and welcome to another interesting episode of Madrid, my DNA, the home of everything Madridistas, as we discuss you through Real Madrid's latest and important update. Kickstarting with today's agenda, Real Madrid are set to choose between Ancelotti's trusted lieutenant Thalan Mendy and Bayern Munich speedster Alfonso Davies as far as the left-back position is concerned for next season. We are going to be detailing you through that on this episode as we progress and shortly after that we will quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as Real Madrid veteran Lucas Vasquez has chosen to stay at the club and an announcement is likely to follow in the coming weeks. We are also going to be bringing you a full update on that in this episode as we progress. So please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss on our daily Real Madrid update. Journalist Jose Felix Diaz has reported via Marca that there is a growing thought within Real Madrid that the team can only accommodate one of Holland Mendy or Alfonso Davies. Over the past few weeks, Mendy has not put a foot wrong and has rightly earned the accolade of his teammate, the coaching staff and his opponents. At the same time though, the prospect of signing Davies is exciting the Real Madrid fans and although the Canadian would indeed bring joy, the team from the Spanish capital is beginning to worry about certain things. It is to be noted that the reason why Madrid decided to go for Davies was because Mendy, who has a contract until 2025, did not agree to the earlier contract proposal. Mendy has managed his career strategically and now he is seeking to renew that he previously avoided. The French defender has made it clear that the plans to stay at Real Madrid as he feels content and respected both on and off the field. Manager Carlo Ancelotti trusts him greatly and wants to keep him in the squad. Real Madrid recognized that Davies would be a smart acquisition, but they also value Mendy's versatility and skills. The financial aspect of a possible transfer will depend on how both fullbacks are evaluated in the upcoming Madrid vs Bayern Champions League semi-finals tie. Real Madrid face a decision about their left back position as there may not be room for both Mendy and Davies. This is why they feel having both players may not be the best choice. On the other hand, Fran Garcia is also involved in this situation. He's, he started the season strong but has played less recently. However, he has performed well and is contented to wait for his opportunities as he still has four years left on his contract. While he wants to play more, he remains patient. Lastly, the fourth player in the mix is Miguel Guterres, currently on loan at Girona, for whom Real Madrid have an 8 million buyback option which could be triggered. Even if it is done, he is likely to be transferred. Real Madrid now face the challenge of having up to four centre-backs next season if they do sign Alfonso Davies from Bayern Munich, which are Davies, Ferland Mendy, Fran Garcia and Miguel Guitares, as reports have largely claimed that the Merengues will indeed activate the 8 million euros buyback clause for the left-back. Understand that Alfonso Davies has been suffering a lot of injury crises lately which have left Real Madrid fans concerned and worried. On the other hand, Ferland Mendy since January hasn't been sat on the bench as of injury crisis. He has been an impeccable defensive unit for Real Madrid so far this year and Real Madrid faithfuls will only hope he continues to grow in that prospect. So having discussed and concluded with that, we are going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as Real Madrid veteran Lucas Vasquez prefers to stay at Real Madrid and is likely to announce his decision in the coming weeks. 
Real Madrid are facing an important summer ahead with the club having to make some key decisions in regards of the future of experienced stars. Nacho Fernandez and Lucas Vasquez in particular are two players whose future remain unresolved with the season soon to come to an end. Recent reports have indicated that Nacho might move on and leave Real Madrid at the end of the season. It appears the veteran defender wants to try out a new challenge elsewhere with Inter Milan emerging as potential suitors. As uncertainty looms over the future of Nacho, Ma Matteo Morato has offered an update on Lucas Vasquez. The versatile defender's contract at the Santiago Bernabeu expires at the end of the season, but as per Morato, the player is favoring a stay, unlike Nacho Fernandez. However, it must be noted that Vasquez has yet to take the final decision, even though he is indeed inclined towards a prolonged spell at the Bernabeu. Vasquez has been with the Real Madrid first team for nine years now, and it appears the player is ready to complete 10 years with the club by extending until 2025. Formerly of the club's youth academy, Vasquez had joined Real Madrid back in 2015. As per Moreto, Vasquez will take the final decision on his future in the coming weeks. His decision may coincide with the closure of Nacho or Luka Modric's future as well. Both veterans are facing an uncertain future and may leave the Bernabeu at the end of the season which could certainly be a blow for Real Madrid side currently going through a transition period. As far as Lucas Vasquez is concerned, if he indeed decides to leave Real Madrid, the defender will not be shortage of options, as Italian giant Juventus have been tracking a deal for the Spaniard for a very long time now. Juventus are just one of the many clubs who are interested in Lucas Vasquez's services. The veteran right back has been impeccable for Real Madrid this season when he has come off in the regard of Carlo Ancelotti, putting a lot of trust in him. Although he operates as a deputy to Carvajal, he is highly valued at the club. So having discussed and concluded with that, we have come to the end of this interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss on our daily Real Madrid update. See you next time and a very big Hala Madrid to us all.